found uh, this Panda router on YouTube, uh, made by Matthias Wandel, and I thought it would be a great idea, a great, uh, and have some good application for in my classrooms. Only I'd need to make a few modifications to it to make it safer, quicker to use, and to give it more versatility. Um, I'll run over some of the features that I've uh, added to the Panda router. Um, <coughs> number one is I've made some clamps that are much safer and easier to use. I've got some trenches through here and a little nut bolt system that allows it to lock in and slide into place. We have three of those on deck so I can very quickly and easily get the clamps where I need them. I find that using two clamps at all times makes the work piece a lot easier and safer. I've also used nylon and some uh, acrylic to, and timber to make the clamp so that if the cutter ends up touching any of this clamp by, from the use of a student, that no injuries occur. As long as eye protection is on, and that should be on all the time. One of the uh, things that I redesigned on the Panda router was the fence. Now, there's a few reasons why I changed the fence. One is, I made it uh, sync up at the back of the table and the benefit of that is when you are doing a tenon the cutter can go past the tenon and not take a big chunk out of the, uh, the fence. Now that was a bit of a problem because sometimes with the kids um, it could go a little bit out of control. Um, two, if I had a screw in the end of the fence um, eventually, if you cut into it far enough, you'd hit that screw. Um, whereas now, you've got nothing but timber at the front that you can hit, so it shouldn't cause any accidents. Number two is that uh, this fence is now, you can flip it. So if a student takes a chunk out of one side, um, of course you can just put some uh, putty in, into that hole. Um, but to get working with the next cut it straight away, you can just flip it and use it upside down. Um, it's also used as a backstop. So you do this mount it this way and you have a certain amount of travel and then pull it out, go to the next slot and all the way to the back. So you can use it as a backstop. Um, You wouldn't use this very often, but uh, that one time that you do, it's going to save you. We decided to make an angle finder fence set up. I have a little pin that runs in the channel and the little lock, lock locking bolt as well. And you can see the angles are in five, five uh, degree increments through the top. So it will slide through here and as you lock it into position it also locks that angle as well. That combined with the angle of the deck can give you compound angles which will be really handy for making chairs. Um, just one little nut at the back can lock that table in and you can see at the front there's an angle finder at the front of the Panther router. Also in 5 degree increments, goes up to 45 degrees um, and when working on this 
I found that I need, needed to uh, stiffen up the deck a fair bit. I've used 25 millimeter plywood for the top. I've got some battens that run through here that stiffen up the deck and also found that these channels at aluminium also 